You take a lot of medicine? Uh-huh. Bring them to your local pharmacist on Saturday. Which Saturday? October 21st, National Check Your Meds Day. I'm on it. Hi, Judy, let's check these. Ooh, not these two together. Now this one's okay, and you'll save money by using a generic of this one. Oh, wow, you kept me safe and saved me money. You're like a superhero. <laughs> Just doing my job, citizen. National Check Your Meds Day. Use your head, check your meds. So that's a reminder, that's from Consumer Reports, about National Check Your Meds Day. The number of drugs that Americans take has skyrocketed. And earlier today, we talked to the deputy editor of Consumer Reports, Lisa Gill. Consumer Reports came up with this day specifically to draw attention, consumers' attention, to the medications that they're taking. And this really came out of a special investigation, the, the largest thing I've ever been a part of at Consumer Reports, that looked at the amount of drugs that Americans are taking. And we were shocked to find that there were over 4 billion prescriptions filled just last year alone, and that that number had doubled in the last 20 years. And it, you may think, well, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's a good thing. There's a lot more drugs, and surely many of them are life-saving. But the issue around that is that also it caused a lot of harm. Um, 1.3 million people went to emergency rooms uh, almost every year as a result of the drugs that they take. And we discovered you could cut that risk in half if you took a very close look at all the medications that you're taking. And that's why we declared tomorrow National Check Your Meds Day. Yeah, I understand uh, the average American takes four prescriptions per person. And the increase in prescription drug use has been staggering over the last 20 years. So what are the guidelines consumers reports is establishing. How do you go about doing this? Sure. So, you know, it's it's actually half of all American adult Americans take an average of about four drugs. So, take all your medications, prescription, over the counter, vitamins, supplements, herbal remedies, everything, put them into a bag and take them to your pharmacist or take them to your doctor. And you're going to sit with them and there's three questions that you should ask. First one, is there any medication I could stop taking? Our national survey suggests that if a consumer asks that question, you may be able to take one less drug, and that's good. Second question, hey, do I really need these high doses? High doses put you at risk for side effects. If you can lower the dose, that lowers the risk. That's the second thing to check. Third thing is, hey, of the drugs I am taking, is there anything else I could do besides taking a pill uh, instead of, you know, is there something I could do instead? So. Our special report, which is available online for free at cr.org slash check your meds, identifies 12 conditions where the evidence is very clear that a pill may not be your best bet for things like pre-diabetes or pre-hypertension, pre-osteoporosis. But what if you struggle to pay for your medication? Prescriptions are getting more expensive all the time. That's right. That's right. So the fourth bonus thing that you should always ask a pharmacist, actually every time you fill a prescription, is, hey, can I get this any cheaper? Am I getting the lowest possible price that you can offer me? And here's the reason. Insurance changes over, over the course of a year what it may cover for a drug. Sometimes they may drop a drug altogether or they just reduce the coverage. It may be that the cash or retail price of a drug is less than what your insurance is, but you're going to have to ask to find out if that's the case. Uh, has Consumer Reports ever taken a look at things like Canadian pharmacies or drug clubs that a lot of people get prescriptions from. Is that your recommendation to save costs? Canadian pharmacies, you know, if you if you get in the car and go to Canada or you take a bus to Canada, it's legal to do that and it is your safety by the Canadian FDA is guaranteed. But when you start shipping medications across the border, we our investigation has shown us that no but our our FDA nor the Canadian FDA equivalent, nobody takes responsibility for it. And until that has changed, it's a very difficult thing to recommend. We don't usually say that's a good idea. I would say that you have, you, your best bet is to shop around in your area, pick up the telephone, do a price comparison among all the pharmacies in your area, because you may be surprised, our secret shoppers have found huge price variation for certain drugs within the same zip code. You just have to call up and ask. Um, Keep asking, keep asking for the lowest possible price, or use a website like goodrx.com or blinkhealth.com. They do also comparisons. You can use a coupon or a voucher. You may, you may be able to see some pretty substantial savings by just paying cash and using one of those services. Boy, great advice. Once a year, do a review. That day is tomorrow. Lisa, thank you so much. Great talking to you today. Thank you.